What is good, boys? We got a straight up banger to start this night of breakdowns. It's Nazrat Hackpress, OG uh, Meat Boy. Shout out Nazrat. Uh, taking on Dan Hooker, aka the Hangman, who is 20 and 10, coming into this fight as a sizable favorite. And uh, is getting a lot of love from Tapology, despite having lost his last two fights. And if we look at those losses, I mean, they're to the best of the best, right? Michael Chandler, he got knocked out. Uh, Dustin Poirier, who, you know, is the best at 155, uh, apart from uh, Oliveira. And, you know, he's only losing to the top of the top, and he usually manages to beat anyone below that. Paul Felder, Iaquinta, James Vick, and, and many others. And it's an interesting test for Nazrat Hakpares, who... Before running into Drew Dober and getting TKO'd when he was like a three to one favorite, he was absolutely killing it as well. And it was kind of tough to discern what is Hazrat Nakparas's ceiling because he's getting these wins, but they were kind of close. I mean, if we think back to that last fight against Rafa Garcia, that was a fight that we meet locked Nazrat. He got the win. It, I wouldn't call it a close contest, but it wasn't a contest that you, you left feeling like, wow, Nazrat Hackpress is a dude who can go out there and beat the guys in the top 15 because uh, it was a good win, but I was like, we were kind of expecting Rafa Garcia to get absolutely bludgeoned by, uh, by him, and when he didn't, it was just a little bit interesting. So what are your thoughts on this one? Do you think that number 25 ranked Nazrat is going to have what it takes to uh, take out a guy in the top 10 like the Hangman who... Really only loses the killers. What are your thoughts? Yeah, th this is a great fight. Um, su super excited to see this. Um, but man, I think I got to go with Hooker on this one. I mean, H Hooker hasn't fought in a while. Um, he's coming off a two-fight losing streak. But man, he he's really next level. I mean, he's at the top. He's only losing to the top of the top. Um, no shame in his losses, indeed. And like you said, uh, Nazra... He, it wasn't a mauling like we expected that last meat lock that we locked him on. And so that's what kind of worries me because Dan Hooker is no joke. And he's a big dude for his weight class. Um, so I think it's going to be a tough guy to take down. I mean, he's 20. Nazareth's 26. He's young. So I think this is going to be a levels test for him. He's going to get good experience from this and he's going to come back. But I definitely could see him getting back to that top five. But he's just so young and somewhat new, I would say. Um... You know, in the UFC for experience comparing to Dan Hooker. Dan Hooker has fought just, I mean, all the greats. Uh, so, yeah, I, I got to go with Hooker. And I think it's going to be knockout just like the Dober fight. And because uh, Hooker absolutely claps people. So, I, I see this not being a long fight. I'm not sure which round, but definitely TK or KO. Hooker. Very interesting. And yeah, you, you touched on Nazrat Hack for us. I mean, the guy is only 26, right? He's picked up a decent amount of UFC fights. He's been in the promotion for, you know, four or five years and uh, he is still very young. So uh, I think you put it great when you said no matter the outcome of this fight, it's going to be a, uh, you know, great experience gained for Hazrat and Hack for us because Dan Hooker's a dude who's been in, been here for a while now as well. And as you mentioned, has gone through or against all of the legends that, that are around in this 145 and 155 division, right? So uh, I know it's always tossed around, but absolutely crazy that Hooker used to fight at 145. But this one's also interesting because both of these guys kind of uh, experiencing some things outside of just the fighting as well, right? They're both uh, having to deal with those visa issues, uh, Hooker being in New Zealand and uh, Hackbrass having his issues as well. And uh, on top of that, Nazra Hackbrass's mother just passed away. So uh, definitely uh, sending our love from Meat Boy to Nazra because he's definitely coming in here w with a lot of things going on and uh, a heavy heart too. So uh, shout out to Nazra. And uh, it's just going to be a very interesting contest. And as you put it, you know, Dan Hooker by TKO is is likely how you see it. And I got to roll with you. I'm 100% seeing it the same way. Um, I think that Nazra is going to get some good experience. Maybe we'll have his moments because he's a dude who is no slouch on the feet. But I just see the length and the reach and uh, just the overall stand-up advantage being heavily tilted in the hangman's favor. And uh, I, I like your call of a TKO. So... Uh, any last thoughts on this lightweight scrap? This is a hell of a way to start things off. Yeah, no, uh, definitely an amazing way to start it off. Um, you know, boys, throw in the comments who you guys got. You got the Hangman or you got Nazareth. Um, we respond to all comments. And check out other videos. And don't forget the mate lock-in main event breakdowns.